update on my mitral and tricuspid valve regurgitation. And before I get into that, I just want to point out if it's not already obvious, um, I'm just feeling really low and I've been struggling pretty badly with my mental health. And you might look at someone and think they've got nothing to be upset about or worry about. And, and in the grand scheme of things, I really don't, even though I've got some stress right now going on. Um, my dad was one of those people who would say, it's up to you how you feel. And I just, that's just not true. Because if that were the case, then I would be ecstatic right now and I would be happy and I would really want to enjoy life. It's not like you can just shake it off, you know? I am seeking help for it and I've got my mom around and that's, that's helpful, but for whatever stupid reason, it's just, I'm just really struggling right now. And this has taken me now three days to get this video out. And I've thought about just not even doing it and not doing any of this anymore. But it's what gives me some something to look forward to, you know, something else to look forward to. So I am trying to stick with it and which might be good for me because, you know, it forced me to finally get ready. I've showered every day, but just didn't finish getting ready. And so while it might not look like it, I did get ready. So um, I know a lot of you are very considerate and I, I appreciate that. Um, just understand that this is not the, the kind of YouTuber that I wanted to be, you know, when I first started my channel. I just had different hopes for it and I've got these medical things going on that make it a challenge to do anything, so. As far as my mitral and tricuspid valve regurgitation, uh, like I said in my health update video, um, or one of my videos, my primary care doctor saw that I had regurgitation in my mitral and tricuspid valve and that the cardiologist did not told, tell me that. He told me that my heart was fine, my heart was strong. What it says on my echocardiogram is that I have a mild tricuspid valve regurgitation and mild mitral valve regurgitation and he didn't mention any of that to me and so I tried to get a hold of his office he never called me back and then I got through to him on the portal and I'll just read what he said and what I said I said during my follow-up um, you didn't make any mention of the mild regurgitation of my mitral and tricuspid valve you'll have to forgive the the birds in the background I'm outside where I try to try to be because it helps me feel better. Um, anyway, after providing results of my test to my primary care, she's the one who pointed it out and you said my heart was strong. I don't see how even mild regurgitation of either valve can say that uh, that heart is strong. I exhibit severe symptoms of fatigue and the swelling of my limbs and other, other symptoms that go along with that. And I wanted to know what the progression of the regurgitation looks like. His response was, your symptoms are not from mild valve regurgitation. Valve regurgitation does not cause symptoms until it becomes severe. Very rarely does mild regurgitation or mild tricuspid regurgitation progress. Guidelines recommend doing a follow-up echo for in two years as these cases rarely worsen and don't become symptomatic unless they progress from mild to moderate and then from moderate to severe. I hope this helps. I'm happy to see you back for more in-person clarification if that is needed as well. I just responded, thank you for the response. I will not be coming in because I'm not going to come in 
and see you for something that you should have pointed out to me during my first visit and, you know, you charged TRICARE again. I don't understand how mild regurgitation of either valve would not cause any symptoms. And if my symptoms are only attributed to my poor liver and swelling and the fatigue and the incompetent veins of valves in my legs, you know, I, I don't, I don't personally feel like a mild regurgitation wouldn't have any symptoms at all. Maybe that's true. We'll see, but I am going to see another cardiologist and then start my care with a vascular surgeon, whatever that is. I have no idea what that looks like, but I've been tracking my symptoms and sometimes it's pretty scary because I get these sharp light pains in my leg and I don't know what's happening, you know. Could my blood just stop pumping and then I end up getting a stroke or something, something like that. Until I have a follow-up with my new cardiologist and a vascular surgeon, I, I don't know what else is going on. If there's anybody out there who comes across this video and has also experienced or knows somebody with mitral and tricuspid valve regurgitation, I'm interested in hearing about that and what the symptoms were and the level of severity and and uh, you know I'm just trying to make the most out of things as best I can and it's just not easy sometimes. I know this video is kind of all over the place but just wanted to give an update because a lot of you ask questions in my other videos that I post and as I get more information I'll certainly share that. And tomorrow I am planning on doing a live stream. I'm thinking possibly either two or four o'clock mountain time. Uh, I've got some things to take care of tomorrow. And I just, I thought about not doing a live stream, but you know, it, doing this kind of helps me do something when I just feel like I can't do anything. So if anybody's able to make it tomorrow, that's wonderful. I will try and post an update in my community tab what time I'm thinking of doing the, or what time I will be doing a live stream. And if anybody can join, that's great. Otherwise it'll, it'll be a quick live stream if not. And uh, I will see you in the next video.